Hello and good evening, everybody. Will from WC Review coming at you, uh, putting out two videos in one night, a new record for content for old Willie. Uh, but I happen to be in the mood, and uh, I always mean to uh, to put out more content, and I just never get around to it. But I do love, I, I pretty much watch and talk about knives in every moment of my spare time. So let's get to it. Tonight, I want to talk to you about the Cold Steel AD10. Um, I have both the, uh, I don't know which is which yet, but I have the Tonto and the Drop Point. Um, and I have a bunch of knives, okay? I have a bunch of knives in my, probably have 50, 55 knives in my collection. These two are in my top five favorites of all time. My number one favorite so far, I don't want to contradict myself from, from video to video. My number one favorite so far is my half-breed large bush folder. Just just unbelievable in every way. Ergos, fit, form, function, con you know, the steel, the just everything about it. But these knives are absolute. They, they It's a better uh, EDC than the half-breed. That I will tell you. These would probably be two and three or three and four in my top five of all of my knives. Um, because, um, it's, it's a tank, but it's, it's very, uh, people call this knife heavy. I don't know what they're talking about. It's like six or seven ounces, but it feels light as a feather. And, and I mean that let's see, I, it's hard to tell which one is which, but okay. So this is the Tonto, which would obviously make the other one, the drop point. But as you can see, the action on them is simple, very easy. Um, let's see the blade length on the uh, drop point is three and a half inches overall 8.75 inches um the blade is s35 vn they also make a light version which is in aus 10 um i'll tell you what getting off topic a little bit i just bought the uh sr1 light in both drop point and tanto and it's i, I forget all the numbers but it's cr13 blah 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 and um I, I've, I've been going off a little bit about uh, blade steel. Uh, and for me personally, I am not a woodsman. I am not out cutting rope or feather sticking or, or starting fires. I am a lover slash collector of knives. Um, I do, you know, I have the perceived value. I want to know that I've got good steel, S35VN, um, you know, um, 3v l max all of all of the high-end super steels and i don't mind paying a little a premium price for it but at the end of the day for someone like me i have never ever once run into trouble where i've said boy i wish i had a better steel on this knife um i don't do it i mean i have to find things to cut but just i mean my i don't know about you but i've heard other people mention it you know when i go sit down in front of the tv i'll bring three or four knives with me and i'll just fidget with them and it drives my wife nuts but i love it um so it really my point is getting off topic again is with blade steel if you like the knife get the knife um you you do tend to get what you pay for but the sr1 it sure looks like a hell of a knife. There's a guy called Joe X. If you ever watch his videos, he beats on a knife until it fails and breaks. And he did um, he did uh, a review, if you will, or a torture chamber test on on these and on the SR ones. And <clears throat> excuse me, the SR ones performed. It made it through the end of the video. It did not fail. Uh, it made it through. And most of the knives they get broken in half by this guy. But And he wound up breaking these. But as far as in the hand, this is number one. Number one, best knife I own as far as I have big hands. I have probably two 3X size hands. But the way this knife fits in my hand, there is nothing better. It's got a big old flat grind on it. Um, it's got thick blade stock. I think it's point, uh, point 0.15. So that's nice. I, I like it even a little thicker. The triad lock, um, just loving. Again, these are some of my favorites. The The... The pocket clip is is a dream, in and out, no problem. Stays put. Um, the action is excellent. It closes, opens up beautifully. <clears throat> um, th this it, it, again, th these might even be top three. I know I'm, I'm flip flopping around, but these are just awesome, awesome knives. The way that they feel in your hand, it it fits like a glove. And this, you'll see. Look at the. This might even. I don't. I don't have it up. I don't have the specs up. But it's the same in every in every way, except for the thickness of the blade. I think this guy might be a little bit, um, a little bit thicker. But 
hollow grind on this. It, I mean, whoosh, 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 right through paper. I don't, I don't have a piece of paper handy. I probably should. I don't, I don't really do demonstrations, but take my word for it. It is super duper sharp, um, like a razor. Um, just love, love, love the knife. I recommend them both. Um, now I'm, I'm looking, I, I, now these are cold steel adaptations of the Andrew Demko, obviously, hence the AD 10, I mean the AD rather. Um, but if you've ever looked again, there's a place called Arizona custom knives. Um, the AD 10 made by Andrew Demko, that's a different animal altogether. Um, th these knives are beautiful, but those knives, those are also in the thousand dollar range. And this knife, by the way, I didn't mention that this one is about 140 and 140 150 but in the 150 dollar range um and the light version is about just under 100 bucks or right around the 100 dollar range but for 140 bucks this is a hell of a knife i highly highly recommend it um i like everything about it um let's see uh, it's got it's got a little aluminum uh a skull crusher here. It's not really a skull crusher, but you can do it a little little hammering with that. The lanyard hole. Uh, I'm not a lanyard guy. If a knife comes with a lanyard, it comes off as soon as I get it. Um, but again, I I sincerely love these knives. Um, what else can I tell you? I'm just looking quick. Yeah, no, there's. Uh, let's do some size comparisons. That's what I forgot. So we got the uh, the drop point. We got the Tonto. Here's my DMF. My um, my sniper blade works, DMF. Uh, here's my all-time favorite. This is my number one favorite knife, guys. This is my large bush folder. My my uh, half-breed blades. This is the baddest bitch in the house right here. But So let's see. The, listen, as much as it's my favorite, this is a little bit tough in the pocket. These two, you can wear these with sweatpants. You can wear these with gym shorts. I'm telling you. This also, a little bit heavy. Um, this, these two weigh around the seven ounce mark, uh, which in my opinion is not very heavy. This, this is like 17 ounces and, uh, this is like 10 or 11 ounces. But these guys, as far as EDCs, all day long, you EDC these, uh, these, you know, this one, you're going to need jeans, jeans, but these two are awesome and you can carry them around with you at any time. So again, just, uh, you know. I don't know if I'm plugging it or recommending it, but I guess I am. I really would just really want to talk about it and show you the knives, but I highly recommend them. Uh, if you're a knife lover, go check it out. Uh, there's a lot of good places. You got Knife Center. You got DLT Trading. You got Smoky Mountain. Uh, you got Blade HQ, White Mountain Knives. Those are all the places where I spend a lot of my time. And again, um, uh, Arizona Custom Knives. And hey, just on a, a complete aside... While you're on Arizona Custom Knives, check out Paul Harvey Knives, okay? If you like big, fat, thick, overbuilt Mameluke knives, I was just fiddling around one day and I stumbled on Paul Harvey Knives. The knife is called the Gladius. He makes another knife called the Peacemaker, the P-I-E-C-E, -E, as in I'll chop you into pieces. It's like a, a cleaver, but that, that's a little bit much, but in my opinion... Check out the Gladius. Um, uh, the, uh, you know, I reached out to, to the guy. He actually got back to me. We had a conversation. Check out the Gladius. And uh, please, uh, my channel, I'm trying to get it off the ground. Like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Uh, I really just love to talk knives. Uh, if any of you do check out the Paul Harvey knives, let's have a conversation. Reach out to me. I'd love to talk with you about it. Thank you guys so much. Again, AD10. Uh, Tonto and Drop Point. Highly, highly recommended. Let's see. On the on the, the movie star rating, uh, the I four stars again is like Goodfellas, um, Gladiator, Braveheart, uh, Dances with Wolves. Those are four stars. These are three and a half star knives. This this is a Goodfellas. This is a four star knife. But these knives are better. They're four star for EDC compared to the uh the half breed, but if you don't know about it, that's another place where you can spend some time. Check out half breed blades; they are badass. But again, Cold Steel, another just just super awesome company. So thank you guys so much. Have a great night, and I'll try and keep the content coming. Thank you.